All right, hello everyone, that's Mr. Crozier. I'm gonna help you with um, our packet for today, our review packet. Had some questions here. Uh, first off, number five, um, speed of a merry-go-round. We're gonna start with the speed, 30 rotations in a minute, and um, you can switch from minutes to hours. And right here is the key. The, this uh, conversion factor says two pi r is one revolution. And a revolution and a rotation are the same thing, and a radius and a radian are the same thing. So this conversion factor switches from um, um, angular speed to linear speed. Just make sure you have that one in there. On number six, the formula for a circle is area equals pi r squared. However, we only have part of a circle. We have 100 degrees out of 360, so make sure you put that conversion factor in here. Same thing on number seven. Here's our formula for circumference. And we're going to put in here this uh, fraction that says I only want 80 degrees out of the 360. On number eight, uh, remember to find coterminal. You add or subtract 360 degrees. Don't forget you can subtract backwards. And you add or subtract 2 pi. Don't forget you can subtract 2 pi. In this case, I made it very simple. I added 2 pi, added 2 pi, added 2 pi again. So just add 2 pi. Or subtract 2 pi. If you want a negative number, just subtract back. Um, and if you look at number 9, I added, but this very well could have been subtract. Subtract. All right, questions on page 2. Let's see here. People asked about number 18. Um, you're going to want to draw a midline. You can take the highest, which is 9, and the lowest, which is negative 1. 9 plus negative 1 is 8 divided by 2 is the middle, the average of those. So there's our middle, and from the middle to the max, 9 minus 5 is 4 for an amplitude. On page 3, um, solving a triangle. Again, you're going to put your A, B, and C, do all of them, and what you're going to do is you're going to write some equations here. The cosine is 3 adjacent over C. Solve that. Tangent is B over 3. And again, if this is angle B, this is side B. If this is angle C, side C. Um, number uh, 29, this is a formula. This looks very strange right here. But what it does is it matches this exactly. So this and this are the same thing. So A is um, 15, A 15, but I want 2A. So that changes to 2 times 15 is 30 and then that's on the unit circle. On number 30, it's a solving equation problem. My first switch I'm gonna make is this Pythagorean identity. If you don't have this written down on your blue sheet, make sure you write this. That sine squared of uh, theta, of x or theta, cosine squared x is always one. And from there, if I subtract away the sine, cosine squared x is one minus sine squared x. So that's the identity. Then I went ahead and I factored it and solved it. On the next page, uh, find the rectangular coordinates. Um, to get to rectangular coordinates, you can draw a picture, use your trig equations. However, at this point, we want to know the shortcut. And the shortcut is r cosine theta, r sine theta. And you just multiply it in there, r times cosine of theta. Uh, solving over the interval. Solve the equation, we get tangent is negative 3, which means negative 3 over 1. I draw my two triangles because if I, if I put this up here, tangent is negative in those two quadrants. So those are where my two triangles are. Uh, 37, you just have to do two different, two different um, trig equations to find what you need, and then you add up the perimeter. Uh, 42. What's the max maximum value on the graph? Well, here's my middle. If my middle is negative 1. My amplitude is 4, so I'm going to go up 4 and get up to 3. And if I wanted a minimum, I could subtract 4, and I get down to negative 5. But there's, there's my max, mid, min. Uh, 43. Draw this triangle out. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. Pythagorean theorem for that. And then you can find sine value opposite over hypotenuse. 
44, the period of each. Well, the period of sine is 2 pi. We memorize that. Period of tangent is pi. In this case, cosine is 2 pi, but we divide it by the b value. 2 pi divided by a third is 6 pi. In this case, we have 2 pi divided by pi is 2. Uh, 45, these are all on the unit circle. Plug them in, do the computation. Sine of 75, however, not on the unit circle. But if we do write it like this, if we take 75 and write it into two pieces, now we can use this sine formula here that has 1, 2, 3, 4 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4 parts, and do the math. On all your bearing problems, number 47, you're going to make sure you write this out. This is 0 degrees at the top. Then it's 90, 180. Usually we start 0 over here for the unit circle, but on a bearing problem, um, we go 0, 90, 180. If you draw your triangle, you can write it cosine. Solving these ones, remember to uh, draw your picture. And once you get your theta, Remember, it's theta plus or minus pi or theta plus or minus 2 pi, depending on the quadrant you want. And I recommend you draw a picture because this one is going back from um, pi. So I'm going to have to do pi minus my theta. On same thing here, on number 49, same thing. We have these two angles. This one is moving down from 2 pi. This one is moving down from pi. Um, 51, I solved it um, as plus or minus 1. Cosine is plus or minus 1 here and here, which leads me to these two formulas, which can be simplified just into this, because this angle is just 0 plus pi plus pi, and you could repeat it with this, and 0 plus anything is just itself. Uh, 52, uh, these are two angles on the unit circle, this one and this one. Uh, pi over 3, and the next one, tangent, is always exactly pi across. Uh, moving on, uh, a blimp. Make sure you read the problem, and the 1,200 goes up here. A lot of people put the 1,200 down there. It is 1,200 there. Um, 56, this one, it says the standing 90 meters from the base. So 90 is on the ground here. So it's, it's usually kind of tricky where to put these. Uh, the clues are in the story problem. Uh, 57, if you factor it right away, you can break it apart. 59, I'm going to use that same conversion factor here that says 1 revolution is 2 pi r. Uh, 2 pi the radius, 2 pi radians. I'm going to start with this factor here and move to revolutions per minute. Problem 60, on any problem like this, I highly recommend you draw this out. Because once you draw it out, you will see you have an opposite and you have a hypotenuse. Sorry, opposite and adjacent, which means you can use tangent. Inverse tangent uh, will get you to that point. And we do the same thing on 61. We go ahead and draw it, and then we do tangent. But now notice the difference here. In this one, I'm just going to stop here. I'm not using inverse tangent. I'm stopping here, and I'm going to simplify all I did here was from here to here, I rationalized the denominator and got that one. So this one we are finding an angle. This one we are finding just the tangent itself. All right, on number 62, graph two periods of sine. Remember, sine starts at the middle, mid, max, mid, min, mid. And um, has a midline of 1, and it goes up 3 and down 3 from there. Two periods to 4 pi. On the last page, 64, another bearing problem. Make sure you write it out. 0, 90, 180, 270. Draw your triangle. Make your reference angle. Write it in there. I recommend you write 20. Then you can write a sine function. And 65 is another one of those where you want to draw this triangle first. Draw this, which is 3, 7. And then use Pythagorean theorem to figure this out. And now do the sine, opposite over hypotenuse. 68, just a matter of solving this equation. So I subtract the 72 over, divide by 20 is 1 half. Inverse sine of 1 half is this picture. 
And again, there's two angles. And one of those angles is um, 0.5 and the other one's here. And then you just do the math and go back and you could um, figure that one out here. I think, let me see, I think I have the wrong number there. Yeah, it's 2.6, not 0.26. So there's my two angles. This angle is 0.5 and this angle is 2.6. So figure out the angles and then do the math backwards. And the math backwards here, I'll make sure one thing about your calculator. When you put this in here, whoops, let's put it in radians. Um, when you have that number here, we're going to times it by 365, then we're going to divide it by 2 pi. Look what I did. I, I put my 2 pi in parentheses. Make sure you put that in parentheses and then add your 90. If you don't put that in parentheses, your calculator will divide by 2 and multiply by pi. All right, I hope this helps with your study and for your final. Good luck.